So the next uh, very important command in Linux shell script is shift. Okay. So this is especially used in command line arguments while reading command line arguments. So to read each and every character uh, thoroughly, we can make use of test command. Sorry, shift command. The shift command is going to shift. So the command line arguments one by one. Suppose my command line arguments I have given like this. So I have given suppose my program name is shift test or shift test dot sh so this is command name to execute shell script and this is a file name so after these two parameters i will give some command line pair command line arguments like this linux is multi tasking operating system multi tasking operating system okay now here uh, along with the sh shift test dot sh i have given how many command line parameters 1 2 3 4 command line parameters are given now i want to read each and every command line parameter okay so reading means you can perform any kind of uh, calculation suppose a list of files have given like this for example you uh, shift test dot sh i will give something like um, dss file 1 and dss 2 now just imagine that dss is a directory file 1 is a file and this is also directory means i want to check each and every command line parameter whether it is a file or a directory file or directory okay so in order to determine whether it is a file or a directory i have to read each and every command line parameter okay so when you start the program so this becomes dollar one this becomes dollar one okay so after reading of dollar one next you uh, when you say shift command what happens here this will be ignored automatically so this becomes this one this becomes dollar one dollar one next when you say shift command what happens here this becomes dollar one means like this a uh, shifting of uh, these uh, command line parameters so that what happens here one can be read at a time okay one command line parameter can be read at a time okay so in the programming just i will explain this just have a look just to see this vi shift test dot sh so to read all the command line parameters you can have while dollar hash okay while dollar hash so every time dollar hash becomes true till all command line parameters are over okay so as we have discussed in the previous video sessions dollar hash is going to give the number of command line parameters given for the application shell script okay so initially while it is reading one what happens that becomes true that means this is a mechanism for reading all command line parameters one by one one by one okay so dollar hash as we have discussed in the previous video session it is going to give the number of command line parameters given for the shell script. So to read all command line parameters, this must be the proper mechanism. This will be the proper mechanism. Dollar hash. Now echo dollar one means first of all, first command line parameter will be read. After that, I am uh, saying what shift means. What happens here? First command line parameter will be ignored, and the second command line parameter becomes dollar one. Okay, after reading second line, second command line parameter, that will be ignored and third becomes dollar one. Like this, for shifting, for uh, uh, reading each and every command line parameter, so you have to use this shift symbol. Okay, just you have a look, just I will execute this. sh shift test dot sh. Along with, I will give what? Linux is multi tasking os 
now it is going to print all the command line parameters like this linux is multitasking os every time i am printing what echo dollar 1 for first time it will print command line parameter 1 okay by shift command what happens here first one is ignored unix will be skipped next next command line parameter after shifting of uh, next come uh, the uh, command line parameter it is going to check whether dollar hash is true or false okay so since dollar hash is true that means uh, still we have to read command line parameters it becomes true and echo dollar one means the current command line parameter command line argument will be printed next shift like that it is going to read all the command line parameters one by one by using shift command okay so this is uh, for printing current uh, command line parameter every time dollar one becomes what happens here first for first time the dollar one becomes linux second time is next multitasking next os <coughs> Now just I will modify this program to check whether each uh, file is uh, director uh, file or directory. Shift test dot. Just I will make a copy this cp. Shift test dot sh. Shift test one dot sh. Here I will test this if test minus d dollar one then echo dollar one is a directory. I will use elif or simply I will use which one else echo dollar one is a file Just I will create some files here. Just have a look here. Like cat file one. This is a file one. Just I'm uh, this is a file one. Control D. Cat file two. is a file too. I will create one directory also mkdir dss. Okay now it has file one file two dss as directory. Okay. Now you give sh shift test one dot sh file one file two dss file one is a file file two is a file dss is a directory like that just you observe the 
code here called script vi here every time i am checking by using test command test command also we have discussed in the previous video session so if test minus d dollar 1 means if the current uh, argument is directory how can you check by using minus d option with test command then i am print what i am printing here dollar 1 is a directory else dollar 1 is a file very simple <coughs> like this you can check each and every argument whether it is a file or directory <coughs> 